Try to understand the working of current mirror and where do we use it. A current mirror in a circuit is used to copy a current through one active device by controlling the current in another active device of a circuit, keeping the output current constant regardless of loading. So why current mirror? So current mirror is used as a load. In integrated circuit, if we use resistors as load, they will consume more amount of space. So to overcome this, current mirrors are used in place of resistor. So in order to understand these points, let us see the figure of common source amplifier with resistive load. So here if you observe, this is an NMOS where source is connected to ground and this is a gate terminal, this is drain terminal. This transistor is denoted with name M1 and at gate we are applying V in and at drain we are taking V out and at the drain, drain terminal I am connecting a load. So here you can consider this as load which is of type resistive. So you can call it as resistive load and this is the supply voltage VDD and here this is ground and I am making use of an load which is called as load capacitor. So generally this is a common source amplifier with resistive load. So here common source means source will be connected to ground. Similar to this there are common drain and common gate amplifiers also which we shall try to learn in the upcoming videos. So here if you observe this resistive load R D is used here. So generally in case of fabrication this load resistor R D will occupy more amount of space. So in order to overcome this particular part we can make use of current mirrors. So one of the point is current mirrors can be used as a load. So that's what these points mean here. It is used as a load and it will occupy more amount of space. So resistors will occupy more amount of space. That's the reason we are going for current mirrors. Next, you can observe the figure of a current mirror which contains two NMOSs which are connected back to back. So here transistor Q1 is of type NMOS and transistor Q2 is also of type NMOS. So we already know that for NMOS source is always connected to ground and if you observe the figure this drain and gate are shorted which contains input current I in also called as I bias and there is an output current which is I out which is again same as I in. So that's what these first point mean here. A current mirror in a circuit is used to copy a current through one active device by controlling the current in another active device of a circuit keeping the output current constant regardless of load. So the current which is flowing through the circuit at input side as well as the output side will be same. And here if you observe VGS1 is again same as VGS2. So here VGS1 is same as VGS2. So VGS is nothing but this is a potential between gate and source for transistor Q1. This is a potential between gate and source of transistor Q2. And here since drain is connected to gate it is like diode with base and collector shorted. So make a note of this point. So BJT contains emitter, base and collector and FET contains source, gate and drain. So here we are going for NPN. So let me draw the symbol of BJT which is of type NPN. So this is the symbol of NPN. N, P and N. This is emitter. This is base. This is collector. So if it is in terms of diode it looks like this. NPN means. So N, P and this is N. N, P, N which is emitter, base, collector also called as source, gate and drain. So here if you observe this figure this drain is connected to gate so drain and gate are shorted so here also the same thing will happen this gate and drain will be short so this will be the final diagram after gate and drain are shorted so here only current flows in only one direction and one of the important point that you need to remember here is both the transistors q1 and q2 must be of same size so the conclusion here is current mirror can be used as a load Okay, so simply instead of this resistor part which occupies more amount of space, we are implementing the same thing by means of a current mirror and this is the diagram for it.